your mic. That's the clicker. Hello, you hear me right? Yeah. It's unusual, but I used to start a presentation with a bottle of water. If I can see it, okay. Even a bottle of water can impact the world. It's a matter if you have the right idea on how to use it. And you can illuminate the life of millions of poor people around the world. What I want to say is basically that anyone can have great ideas that can impact the world. The problem is that the number of ideas that today becomes a real innovation is very small. We believe that anyone should have the same opportunity to bring their product ideas to life without having a technical background. So basically, a sort of an incredible machine where anyone can translate ideas into product. <coughs> maybe not just that, maybe test them on the market and sell them. We call it Intuino. Intuino is an application for smartphones, tablets, an app store of open source code where you can download the application not on your phone, but on physical objects, wirelessly into your Arduino, a small computer with plug and play sensors used by NASA, Google, anyone in the world. Let me show you how it works. Video, please. So uh, here you can see the Arduino, the antenna, and the application. Uh, imagine you, you want to send a tweet. When something changes, the door is open, the cat is moving, you, can, you have plug and play input and output. That's a motion sensor. And instead of writing code, anyone can create electronic devices interacting with the internet in seconds without a technical background. And that's tweeting when the door is opening or when the cat is moving. If you're an artist, maybe you want to create light effects, right? So we teach you with video tutorials how to stick LEDs, drag and drop an icon, and in second you created electronics and light effects wirelessly. Maybe you want to do something more mechanical, right? To run a, a motor is super easy with Intuino. Take seconds. Okay, stop the video, please. Next slide, yeah. Uh, stop the video, please. Uh, fermate il video, per favore. Uh, tornate indietro, i due o tre. Scusate. Okay, so this is Intuino, a kit with all you need to create devices and your ideas, all packed in one single kit with all the sensors that you need for education, pets, gardening, any application that you want. And of course, a free cloud-based application. The application, that was the mechanics of Intuino, but the application are ranging from domotics, mobile health, electronics, internet of things, anything you want to create. So the limit is what you can imagine, not what you know to do. So business model is super easy. We're going to sell the kit in our web store and through physical distribution channels. But we are also service, a marketplace of DIY do-it-yourself ideas. We're going to select the best ideas, translate them into a product, open source, distribute it globally, and apply revenue share so the inventors can profit from their ideas. Why now? Well, we are living in the maker revolution, as Chris Anderson, the editor of Wired, is saying. Easy. In fact, the market is huge. It's an intersection of what's the IoT market and the DIY market, but our market that we can address is 250 million people, but we can address 10% of it, 250,000 in five years. That's the team. I'm the CEO and founder, Marco Bestonzo. Dario Trimarchi, great CTO, and Gian Andrea Fanella as a strategy advisor, boosted by, on the business side by the I3P, Torino Polytechnic Incubation Program. But rather than say we are super experienced, tribal entrepreneur, blah, 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 this is the result. We've been selected as uh, best startup, uh, one of the best startup in Europe, in main European competition like Le Web, France, Germany, High Berlin, recently named by The Economist in the Innovation Forum in Berkeley, California, as one of the three best uh, business ideas in the world that will impact dramatically 
economically the world. That's why journalism do venture capital. Okay, can I go on? Yeah. Oh, do I have time, by no. the way? Yes? Okay. Kind of fast. Past 70K self-funded and winning the grants around Euro to create the mocha we're going to launch in Indiegogo before the summer or launch the product at the end of the year to expand in Europe and US. This is why we need an investment now to reach our sales goal and our profit of 400, round 400K. What do we need that for? We need it to cover the cost structure. So basically, uh, going to production, market, and distant dev development of our product to achieve the demand that we already have, which is rising more than 250 in between customers, distribution channel, and companies, ranging from pharmaceutical to automation, interested in creating new technology in a fast way. And of course, ladies, because I didn't put it in the slide, but of course we would like to work and expand the team with some uh, Italian ladies, maybe. Distribution channel and beta testers. Thank you very much. I have a question. So I don't understand. So how, uh, what's the difference between the Arduino programming language and your system? It's kind of like it makes it simple to use. I mean, why is, I don't, there is, there is technical. Yeah, um, so, sorry about that. That was like five minutes. It's so impossible. Well, are you compared programming? What's the name? There is no programming, so anyone can invent. Anyone can uh, okay. get an so invent. So it's a visual, kind of like yeah. a visual tool for who, people that don't know programming language for Arduino. Here I can say this because we're all a little bit into geeky stuff, but it's, it's like an app builder, but for physical objects. Got it. Like a Lego Mindstorm, but for, for interactive objects uh, and, and a real mm. project. So, so as you think about, uh, you know, building, ramping up commercial operations, and yeah. you think about the different things that can be in the box, and sure. the different places you can be marketing, sure. and um, teaching people how, how they can use this, exactly. showing them the full range, which can take a lot of work. How are you thinking about uh, prioritizing, and sure. where do you see your, your initial market opportunities? Sure. We can catch 22 by simply uh, teaching to kids. So we both lower the entrance barrier, because if you see a kid using it, creating engineering project, then you say, damn, I can do it too, first. So education, that's why the first uh, vertical was on education. So of course, universities. And the second thing is the whole maker movement, that we, we get a reach, like the key opinion leader in the market, so with that we can talk to 50 people reaching millions of them. This is exactly why we were in the United States, not to win the cool prize, but to network with Chris Anderson, with the main uh, leaders in this sector. And w some markets are uh, easier than others to uh, penetrate. So for example, domotics is kind of very difficult to go into. So we selected just like gardening, which is a, a little bit wider space as well. So that's a strategy. We've been thinking about where to go first, so how to prior prioritize the, the whole thing. First of all, this is very interesting, but I see from, you, from your talks that you, you don't... Uh, first of all, ha have you tried it on some clients or customers? Uh, yes, of course we have a demand. Uh, no, have you tried it on customers? In uh, not yet, because we will launch the beta testing uh -huh. uh, before the summer. So we are about to, to uh, beta test it. Yeah. Because, uh, because from, uh, my question, because w I understood that you, you can mix of... Um, mix your uh, product with education, with prototyping, yeah. with innovation. Yeah. Each one of those is different. Sure. Education is different. Uh, if you uh, want to do prototyping, it's a completely different issue. So um, I don't know if you have this, uh, this strategy in mind that you have dis different differentiate or have a strategy to differentiate between your clients. Sure. Your clients we have a segmentation thing. strategy of the market that we want to target. And of course, we cannot go in parallel because uh, that would... Uh, have, we would necessitate to have like huge resources. So education is gonna be the first sector for the, for, for the motivation that I said before. Thank you. Learning barrier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. And as you might know,